Hey, good evening, Augusta Nation. And the sun keeps going down a little bit earlier every day. So, just a little bit after seven, but it does look a little darker outside. And so today we had we had a, our Thursday morning meeting. I said I was gonna post it. Uh, again, we had some technical difficulties with the camera. I was way out of frame. Uh, we also, as far as uh, the meeting went, um, it was not uh meeting ran a little bit long uh the content of it i don't think really uh, applied too much and would have been all that helpful so just going to do a quick recap of the day what all went on with augusta lawn care services of augusta georgia and sinless suites and just a little bit about you know uh what what went on today and, and things like that so we had, me and my wife, we had our first uh, scheduled meeting for Sinless Suites. We're still in the build-out process, and she's still running the food truck, fulfilling personal orders, and some shipping. So check us out, sinless-suite.com. Get your Sinless Keto Treats. Uh, they are super tasty. But we had our meeting, kind of formulating the budget as far as uh, what's left to pay for the build-out, the construction of it and some items that we need to purchase such as you know, like a two-door freezer uh, an, uh, another range some packaging uh, what else do we have going on uh, just a, a, the list that we have to, to purchase to get ready to open up uh, marketing budget and then just like we do myself jeremy and jesse with augusta we're the leadership team we meet once a week and uh, we just kind of talk about the issues um, and then we assign uh, tasks to certain issues to get done for that week so me and my wife met we've got a slew of things because this is a startup uh, and we've got a slew of things we need to get done and I would say we will be opening up no later than the first of the year so still behind schedule as far as what we thought we thought we we're gonna get there November 1st but things happen and we're just adjusting to that. So we've got to come up with uh, packaging that we're gonna use um, you know, permanently. I like the, the branded boxes that are ready for shipping for that. And then also just go ahead and having branded boxes for when folks come in to get their treats. That way we don't have, right now we've got nice pink boxes that are striped and we gotta put a Sinless Sweet uh, sticker on it. Not that big of a deal as far as that goes but i would like to, to get some branded boxes and then uh, we also have to make sure we've got all the labels that we're going to use as far as the macronutrients for the shipping we've got to meet with fedex and usps to figure out uh, all the specifics of the you know the cost the the two-day shipping and all that um, we also what else do we need to do but yeah, we had a good good meeting, got some things uh, accomplished. Uh, we had a meeting at Augusta Lawn Care uh, just about certain things like um, proper spraying of, of beds with Roundup uh, to not cause leaching. Uh, we've had two instances of bed cleanups, uh, mulch installs or rock installs where an excessive amount of herbicide was sprayed into the beds leached out into the grass killed a bunch of sod i think it was about two pounds of sod each instance and that was one of the, the highlights that we brought up today and just trying to educate our team make sure that doesn't happen again so if y'all ever had any anything happen damaged wise with herbicide with roundup um let me know in the comments tell me tell me your experience but it is always costly so We've got another two pallets to replace here shortly, um, but I did get to did get to emphasize in the meeting uh, one of our values, which is always do the right thing. The way that we learned about uh, this most recent instance was we had I had an estimate on my board for sod repair, and I get there, we had done the rock bed install and bed border. Uh, June 29th so you know this is September 14th I mean I'm sorry October 14th you know long ways away she kind of recognized the shirts and the and the, the truck as Augusta she said I think y'all did the install 
I'm not sure. So I looked her up in the records. Sure enough, we did do the install and she was just asking about the damage. She said, well, since y'all did it, what do you think about it? And I could have easily been the professional said it was mole crickets or, you know, so like that's nothing to do with us. But the right thing to do is own up to your mistakes and pay for them. So that's what we did. And I got to use that as an active example to the team. So we're gonna get some good out of, you know, we're gonna get some good out of a bad experience. So we, we had that go on, uh, did some estimates, Christmas light installs, and we'll be sending out all of those. I figured out uh, one of our one of our fellow Augustans in Texas, uh, Ryan Ryan Payne. I forget his last name. I think it's Ryan Payne, uh, but he'll tell me if it's not. Uh, but he does Christmas lights, and he said just run it with a measure wheel and kind of eyeball the eaves and things you can't run along the, the roof line. So. And that's from the ground, so I don't get on the ladder. So that's, uh, we'll go measure out, uh, I think I've got eight or nine of them. We'll send out the Christmas lights, see how many we get tomorrow. Uh, as far as the gym goes, um, you know, I've talked about it before. That's one of the things that's important to me uh, that I really enjoy. I'm fifth week in and feeling really good. I've got delayed onset muscle soreness from from working out. Um, I have a real simple workout plan, but the muscles that I'm targeting are getting hit. Uh, I, I have uh, my vitality, my energy, um, I feel my, my muscles being full. I love it. Um, you know, everybody's got to find their outlet that increases their endorphins, allows you to reduce stress and anxiety. And for me, a uh, big thing is weightlifting. I absolutely love it. And five weeks in, um, and I've lived my life like this for as long as I can remember. I used to get, my mom used to drop me and my, my good buddy off uh, in high school. So from 15 years old, I've had an active gym membership. And from, I guess, 15 until about two and a half years ago, I've always had a consistent regimen. You know, it may have fallen off diet-wise here and there, but, um, but it always been in the gym, you know, consistently. And the past two and a half years, uh, I've not made it in there as consistently, and I've, I'm getting back in the routine. I'm feeling good about it. Uh, I've had to kind of change my goals a little bit um, because I was, you know, more competitive. Had a very um, oh, there must be somebody picking up treats at Sinless Sweets <laughs> in the background there. Let's see if I can show you Sinless Sweets. That's my wife's food truck, and you know, we operate at home. So we, we've got some people picking up some treats, it looks like. So, But we'll wrap this up real quick. Um, I am super thankful to be back in the gym, feeling good. Um, I feel really great about the business, uh, about you know where it's going and, and how far we've come this year. Um, and I just wanted to, to share some things. Uh, I'm sure there's some things I'm forgetting, but this will be today's vlog. Uh, comment in the, you know, or send me some comments about anything that y'all have done as far as with Roundup, if you've killed anything, and then also let me know what uh, what your outlet is as far as a uh, you know positive way to relieve stress, whether it be the gym, whether it be you know taking a mountain bike ride, riding a motorcycle. What is it for you that allows you to uh, increase the endorphins, release some stress, and just get some good enjoyment um, out of life? So. Until tomorrow, hope y'all have a great day and sorry about the, the Thursday meeting. I will, I will get better at it. Y'all have a good one.